Okay, so taking a spare off a ring main or a radial circuit is really quite simple. I'm halfway through doing a rewire in the house, so it's nice and easy to show you what's going on. So you've got one wire coming in and one wire going out of the socket. So to take a spare off it, all we need to do is put another wire in there and take it to the other socket we want to wire up. I want to put a tally on the wall there, so that's where I'm going to take my wire to. In the last video, I showed you how to cut out the back box and chase up the wall and go behind the coven to hide the wire. So now I've got to take a wire from that socket up the wall, behind the coven, through the floor joists, down that chase and into that back box. So first of all I've got to go upstairs and drill out the joists. Okay so upstairs now, and there is where we're going to come up. And there is where we're going to go down. So I've got to drill through these three, three joists. Now I think the regulation says it needs to be more than 50mm up from the bottom and 50mm down from the top. So I'm going to go dead centre or as near as I can. There's the hole. I used the 16mm spade bit because the wire we're using is 2.5mm, so it's about 10 to 12mm wide, so it should easily pass through that hole. Now I've just got to drill the other two. Now I've got to get the wire up that chase through the joists and down that chase. So there's the wire we've just sent up. Now I've just got to feed it through the joists. So there's the wire fed through the ceiling. Through three joists and then through the ceiling again. So there's the wire we've just dropped down. Enough length on it to wire up the, the socket. Right, so the first thing I want to do is cut the wire to length. So put it into the box. usually have it so it goes to the edge of the box plus about 10 20 mil and cut it off now I need to strip the wire back so what I do give the cable a little nip and find the air fryer Pull it through like that. And strip back the excess 
insulation. Now I get some air sleeving, put it over the air fryer. Fold it over the end of the wire, bring it forward, cut it back about 10 mil. Should have enough wire sticking through to go into the back of the socket. Now I need to strip back about 10 mil the insulation on the live and the neutral wires. Oh well you can see that. So if you look on the back of your soccer front, I don't know whether you're going to be able to make this out, but there's an N there, an L there, and a little symbol there for A. So your N is neutral, which is blue, or if it's all wire and it's black. L is for live, so it should be brown, or old wire and is red. And then your green and yellow goes into the earth. So it's three wires. Pretty simple. Okay, so all the wires are screwed in now. Give them all a little pull to make sure none of them are loose. And as you'll notice, there's no copper wire showing, only the insulated sleeves. Now we need to do the same process, this end of the wire, but this socket's live. So first of all we need to isolate that. Right, this is a socket tester, just simply plugs into the socket. There's three lights on it, and show up if there's any faults. So that's telling us that the socket's live. So let's go to the consumer unit and turn the fuse off. This is my consumer unit. It's a brand new one because I'm still doing the rewire. So it's got temporary labelling on it. So it's over the right hand side of the house. So it's that one that says right sockets. So all I do is flick that down. And that should have isolated that socket. Right, so the lights have gone off on the socket tester. But I want to double check. So I've also got this pen tester. So I test that on something that I know is live. So the lights are still live. So it glows. I take it back over to the socket. So it's not glowing. But then I want to test the test is still working. Once again, it is. So I'm now happy that that socket is isolated and I can take the front off. So now I can safely take the front off this socket.
So there's no harm in triple checking the socket's not live. With the pen tester, I just check the cables. So I know they're safe. So now I want to cut the cable roughly to length. Feed it into the box. Okay, so that's nicely into the box now. So I need to strip back the wires. Cut it to length. Get the wire, get the earth wire, pull it back, and strip back the insulation. Again, a bit of earth wire, I mean earth sleeving, sorry. Fold it over. Pull it off the wire. Cut back about 10 mil. That's the right length. Get your wire strippers. Strip back about 10 mil. I'm alive and neutral. So on the back of this socket is a hole for the earth, one for the live and one for the neutral. So as long as I get them three cables in the right holes, it should work fine. <clears throat> so I'll start off with the earth, undo the screw, push the wire in, and tighten the screw up. Give all three wires a pull to make sure they're all secure. So you just repeat the process for the live and the neutral. Give each wire a pull, make sure none of them are loose. Now we can put the soccer front back to the wall. Now we can go and turn the electricity back on and check that it's all working. All we need to do now is put the fuse back on. Hopefully that should be okay. So the lucky's back on now. Just need to test it. And the three lights mean that everything's correct. 
So that one's fine. Let's check the spare. Well, I'm not an electrician, but I find jobs like this quite simple, so I do them myself. But always remember to stay safe and isolate the electric electricity before you start. So if you're unsure, call a qualified electrician. Don't take any chances. So stay safe. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.